Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 168. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you are new here, let us know down below. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is TwoCrazyKetos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon that way every single time it's Memorial Day you'll be alerted to it. What a nice way to to get the week started honoring our our military veterans such an awesome awesome day and yes. privilege obviously today is a day that we remember the fallen and it was really cool i had to go to lowe's last night or yesterday and i had to show this i don't know if all the lowe's are doing it i i mean i know lowe's really cares about our veterans yes uh but in the parking lot they had this how beautiful, says for Memorial Day, Lowe's is reserving a parking spot in honor of our fallen military members. I thought that that was just like, you think to yourself, I there's so little I can say. Like, how do you return the thanks that you have? Yeah. Like, how do you pour out your heart? And it's these doable actions you do what you can and i love it. it's like lowe's is like how can we be visible about this we've got a parking space we can do something with the parking space even right. i loved that i just saw uh becca wanted to know is this pre-recorded no it no. is not pre-recorded uh we are live and what we decided to do was we are going camping as soon as this is over right but we changed where we're going we were supposed to go to the keys uh, we were supposed to be at Curry Hammock. Curry Hammock State Park, which is about 145 miles away. And it normally takes about two and a half hours. But not on Memorial but Day. But we started thinking it's Memorial Day. Right. Uh, that's going to add at least an hour and a half, hour and a half driving through the Keys on Memorial Day. So then we were going to go to another place called Lake, Lake Kissimmee. Kissimmee State Park. But that's like 180 miles, and I started going, do I really want to spend $200 in fuel not really. for two days? Right. Like, like, it's not really worth it for us. And uh, also, lots of alligators, because it's alligator mating season. And we're taking Tabitha. Tabitha is going, so I don't want to be worried. Yep. I just want to enjoy so we're going the local. next couple we're of days. Going to, we're going about 50 miles away. And uh, it's a great camping place we've been to before. It is really, really nice. And and we can just relax, which is what it's meant to do. Yes, right? because if we're home, we're working. Yeah, well, I mean, when we're away, we're working. But, but it's, yeah, but it's like theory. I find like the other day, I, I was like, oh, well, I was in the middle of doing work. And then I'm like, oh, the refrigerator needs to be clean. And what was supposed to be a half relaxing day became working until 10 o'clock at night. Right. So, so let's get into Keto on the Couch. If you're new to our channel, this is Keto on the Couch. Keto on the Couch is all about subscribers. And we like to celebrate subscribers, answer questions, talk about wins. We do it live because it used to take us about seven to eight hours to edit this video. So we try to avoid doing it in a video format. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our normal keto on the couch format and then afterwards we address the chat. If you have something that you want to talk about based on what we're talking about in the moment, go ahead and use the super chat function down below. That's a little dollar sign that's in the uh, chat box. And if you really like this video, you can always say thanks by hitting that thanks button down below. Wanted to mention real quick, not a sponsored video, but today is the last day of the Perfect Keto Memorial Day sale. This is the second best sale they have of the year. You right. won't see a better sale until Black Friday. That's the best. So uh, we actually stocked up on a bunch of stuff yesterday, which by the way, you don't know about. Um, but I can tell you what I bought. Okay. Here's the thing. We were talking about this in our vlog today out of sight, out of mind kind of stuff, right? And you forget about things when you don't have your eyes on it all the time. 
I completely forgot. They have Cinnamon Toast Crunch MC2 oil powder and Cinnamon Toast Crunch collagen. It has been a while, because yeah. Completely if, forgot about it. If it's it. in our pantry. And we don't have any. I mean, Atomic Habits is really blessing my life, because it's telling me, rotate things. Even, like, if I want to wear different clothes, then I need to rearrange my closet a li little different, and even my drawers a little differently, because what do you do normally? The path of least resistance, right? right? So I will reach for the same things over and, and over. We use the collagen in our yogurt that, right. that flavors our yogurt. Um, so I ordered Cinnamon Toast Crunch Collagen, MC2 oil co uh, collagen, the MC2 oil cinnamon toast. Okay. The strawberry MC2 oil and the strawberry collagen, and then three boxes of the peanut butter Nola bars. Which, that was my order. The Nola bars. And they gave me a free because usually when you buy the five things, in addition to forty percent off, you're also going to get a free gift a lot of times. So my free gift was a strawberry collagen. Okay, nice. So that was really cool. You know so you'll use it. Use the link down below. That goes away tonight and you can get up to 40% off. And Perfect Keto are huge supporters of our channel. So we appreciate you guys supporting Sheila, the sponsors. Thanks so much for becoming a member. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Okay, let's get into Keto on the Couch. We're gonna start off with our um, Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. This was an inspirational post that we found over on our Facebook group. And uh, this one was from dun, 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 dun. Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Sarah said, do not waste time thinking about what you could have done differently. Keep your eyes on the road ahead and do it differently now. I love that thought so much. Sarah has been such an inspiration to me. I was uh, looking at her Instagram yesterday. Her and her husband went canoeing. I believe it was Sarah's first time canoeing ever. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what a powerful non-scale victory. They were camping this past weekend and beautiful campsite, all of the beauty on the water. She was like, we're doing pretty good for somebody that doesn't do this often. And I was so encouraged by her. And then on top of it, I mean, they were at a waterfall. Right. So they were enjoying that. And then they were playing Jenga in their campsite. That's so cool. it was just like, do things differently. So just because it was something new, you know, that's okay. Doing something new is awesome. We're actually sometimes. thinking about, uh, renting a canoe uh, this weekend and taking Tabitha canoeing, if they rent canoes. I don't even know if they yeah. rent canoes there. Sometimes they only rent kayaks and paddle boards. And again, mating season, not planning on going paddle boarding. I like boarding. having the walls and, on the boats. Uh, and you know, I don't think we can fit Tabitha into a kayak, but I'm curious, we did have a company reach out to us on our camping channel and ask us to review an inflatable kayak which is sitting right there okay so let us know if you guys would be interested in us featuring that in a vlog for you guys yeah. on this channel right and we'll take it to a park and and it, it's actually really inexpensive and it's inflatable and it's inflatable I, which makes it great we have had really good luck with our inflatable it's paddle awesome. boards yeah. i was surprised that they're so good because yeah. i'm thinking inflatable is going to be like you know, the the cheap mattresses that you get and then we you bought those at Costco. wake up on the ground. Yeah. And and that hasn't been the case. They have inflated every time. Okay, let's go on to the subscriber of the week. First one is Tina. Hey Tina. Tina said today I went to my grandson's honors program at the same elementary school both of my sons attended. Wow. I saw many of our my younger son's former teachers there. He's about to be a high school senior. So the last time I saw these teachers was in 2016 and I was over 80 pounds heavier. Honestly, it felt pretty great to have a few of them make a little fuss over my accomplishments. They Positive feedback feels wonderful. This morning, uh, they saw the counter, uh, the outer evidence of an even bigger inner change. I'm definitely call out that major scale, non-scale victory. Here's a couple of pictures for reference. Feels like a good time for a face-to-face -face Friday. Oh, wow. Oh my gracious. Ain't nobody gonna believe you're a grandma, yo. <laughs> nobody is believing that. Wow, you look incredible. And yes, I think that it's a good thing for all of us to make a fuss over ourselves a little bit, right? right? I mean, it's not, we, a lot of times we associate making a fuss as a, a bad thing, like don't draw attention to us, like, oh, there's other more important things for us to focus on. No, let's make a fuss about how we are, are doing 
good things and we're having real victory. I yeah. love that. Marie, thank you very much for the dollar ninety nine super Marie. chat, but she retracted her message. So oh, okay. I don't know what the if message you got is. another if you message, got a message let we'll us be know. looking for it. Okay. Uh, next one we have is from Connie. Hey, Connie. Connie said, non-scale victory have been keto or low carb since 2018. Lost around 80-ish pounds, less medication, improved A1C. Weight has been stable through the pandemic, sadly. Um, after three long years, pipe band back uh, for the Victoria Day Parade. No soreness. Feet, knees felt great, not tired. Uh, all good. Was able to enjoy How the day nice. without discomfort. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Oh, Connie, wow, you look incredible, way to go. And also to be able to, to do something that you're passionate about. Oh my gosh, like I love the bagpipes. Like I think that that is so stinking fun. And for you to like be able to, to walk around, carry your instrument, use it, I'm still blown away when I see people, even in like a marching band, that they're carrying their instrument, they're getting steps in, they're using their instrument. Like that is a very amazing thing. So congratulations. Beth said Texas Roadhouse always sets a table for the fallen soldier. That is beautiful. It's another reason I like that place. That like, is I, precious. That, that kind of stuff makes me patronize a place more. Yeah, let us know if there's more places that you know of that, that are doing special Memorial Day things to, to visually honor veterans. We would love to know it so that we can celebrate that. And just to let you guys know, we are planning on doing our 11 on 11 for veterans again this year. We need to start planning it. We haven't done that yet. Once we're completely done with kids ministry and we'll, we'll probably start focusing more on that and letting you guys know about that kind so of stuff. So Maria had asked, are there plans for keto events in the Arizona area anytime soon? Not that I am heard. I, I honestly don't know like if people are planning stuff. The best website is the one that Chris Bear runs, uh, which is lowcarbevents.com. Low he puts everything on there. Uh, I know you have stuff in Texas and there's stuff in California. I know it's not Arizona, but I know there's stuff within a couple of hours. It's like, you know, I know we have the one in Orlando coming, but that's generally the only thing you ever really see here for us. I mean, yeah. they have well, low carb Boca, but that's really more for doctors. Right. We don't even attend that because it's, first of all, it's really expensive. Yeah, and it's, it's like really a continuing education. clinical kind of stuff. Right. Uh, let's see, who is this one? I don't have my glasses on. Oh, Dr. Miles Sales, can anyone tell me how to become a member? Yep, there is a little button down below. Uh, it says join. And you can hit that. That'll make you a channel member. There's several different options. And there's also a link down below uh, in our description on how to become a Patreon. Uh, Patreons have a couple of extra benefits that channel members don't have. Uh, but both get the Fearless Friday post that Rachel does every month. Uh, we also try to, we're trying to be more active for our channel members and Patreons. So moving forward, we'll be able to do a lot more of that kind of stuff. And also this coming Saturday, while yes. I'm thinking about it, will be the first Saturday of the month. So there will be a channel member and Patreon only live stream probably at five o'clock, but I haven't set the time yet. I haven't looked at our calendar, but make sure you're watching for that announcement because that'll be this Saturday. I was going to say before we move on to Marie, like don't be afraid to put something in our Facebook family group if, if as a question like, hey, is there anything going on in Arizona? Because there may be local meetups yeah. that somebody in our group from Arizona would be privy to. Yeah. Uh, oh, mom said I'm excited Hi, to try out one of my hard side kayak. It's great, but not portable. I love it when my mom gets to use her kayak. Okay, so we have another one. It's from Mary. I'll read this one. Mary says, for those who have just started their keto journey, I want you to know right at this moment, you're so worth it. I know it's going to be hard at first because I was there three years ago. All the fast food, sugary treats, pop, and bad carbs are so delicious, but I have a question. Are they worth your health? you're feeling tired and depressed, or your family and friends may be losing you. I've had that tough conversation with myself and food. I realized I was using food as my drug and comforter. I want you to know you're not alone in your addiction. Yes, food can be an addiction. The keto community is so amazing and we get great support and information on here and YouTube. You're going to fall and that's okay. The win is getting back up and never giving up. 
I've lost a lot of weight, but the best thing is I healed my stomach ulcers, knee pain is gone, I'm off cholesterol medication, my depression is gone, I don't hurt when I walk, and foods have no hold on me. You're in control and no one else. So go and show everyone how fabulous and strong you truly are. Wow, Mary. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, I mean, we say that all the time to share your story and that is three years of hard work. That is three years of, of making good choices consistently over and over again to get to that amazing result. And I thank you that you use your celebration to also bring awareness that it's possible for other people. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's so powerful. And again, a reminder, if you have not done so, please share your story. Head on over to our Facebook group. If you don't have Facebook, you can send it to us at stories at twocrazyketos.com. Try to keep it to like a paragraph, kind of like what you see with these. If they're really long, we, it's kind of hard to share them on, on, online for us. But even if you don't want us to share it online, you just want to put a big long one for everybody else to read, please share your story. Yeah. Your story is so important for two reasons. Number one, it inspires somebody. It helps somebody who is thinking they're all alone. And when you put up your story, they're like, oh, I'm not alone, somebody else gets it. But also it's gonna be a great reminder for you. We talk about this all the time. You cannot do this without community. No. A lot of us don't have community at home. We don't have families and friends and coworkers and doctors and all that that support this eating lifestyle. So the next best thing is our online family. And I yes. can tell you, we've probably got more friends through you guys than we do it, like it, like outside home. of the channel, yeah. yeah. So Miriam's here. Hi, Miriam. Let's go ahead and take a quick fade to black and come back with the YouTube chat. What are you gonna be eating at your Memorial Day barbecue today? I hot hope dogs. that we've got some hot dogs on, on the well, plan. Well, we don't have any hot dogs, but we, we gotta need to stop get some, some hot dogs. Because but... I have a hankering for hot dogs. Yeah, it's we are keeping it super simple. Uh, I saw this. Van said, what do you crazy ketos think about allulose? Is it as innocent as people think? So far as I know, do we use allulose? Yes, we do. Although, listen, I tend to, when it comes to sweetening anything where I don't need the chemistry aspect of something with volume, like a granular sweetener, if it's just something like pudding or... Uh, our coffee or something like that, I tend to go towards liquid sweeteners and I use either liquid sucralose or I use liquid stevia. Why? Because both of them are zero sugar alcohols. They are zero on the glycemic index and they have no carbs at all. I don't have to do any math with those. We like, it, it's not like as much of an ingredient thing as it is a, we don't want to do math thing. Right. We are very, I'm going to, I'm not going to say lazy, energy efficient. Yeah. We are energy efficient people. And yeah. it's just like more energy efficient. Now, when it comes to baking, you will notice most of the time I do use allulose over erythritol because allulose doesn't have the cooling effect that erythritol has. And I'm has. super sensitive and to Rachel that. And Rachel is really sensitive to that. But the problem is allulose is only 70% as sweet as sugar. So I, I measure it out cup for cup at for a recipe that would call for, for like erythritol. And then I add in a few drops of liquid sucralose or liquid stevia to up the sweetness. Right. And that's, that's what I like. The reason I like allulose over um, erythritol also is it, it is known to lower blood glucose a little bit. So... But I think the jury's still out. It's still a relatively new product compared to erythritol and exactly. other things like that. It's like, so. we gotta see where where are we in five or 10 years? Yeah. Uh, okay, so next one is from Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Debbie said, non-scale victory. This group has encouraged me in many ways. Tracking is something I resisted until so many shared the power of tracking and so building good. better habits. I finally stopped making excuses and got my blood work done. I was anxious that it wouldn't show much improvement because I lose weight so slowly. Like three pounds a month down is a very good month. Yeah. Several stalls for two months or more over the past two years on keto. While I have to say I have a new love and respect for my body and how hard it's been working at healing. My triglycerides went from 160 pre-keto to 86. Wow, Debbie, that is incredible. Yes, I really hope that if somebody is very 
like huh, interested... Debbie just commented the same thing, I think, before we even put it up. Oh, wow. That's amazing. How cool is that? Congratulations, by the way. Oh, she said 75% reduction in inflammatory markers and triglycerides went down, yeah. That is amazing. But, but what I was gonna say is, if you are somebody that is very fixated on the scale and the movement of the scale, what I would really encourage you to do is get your blood done regularly, like your blood work done, okay? Because you need to see there are major things happening. Sometimes we're looking at that scale and the scale is at a crawl, but what's going on inside of your body? Number one, that is the most important indicator of health right? When you get your lab work done and you can see there's a lot of forward momentum more than you realize happening going on inside of your body. But sometimes we just get fixated on that scale and we don't see there's much more important information to be gained. I just saw this comment. Katie said, when is it okay to eat a Nola bar? Will it spike my insulin? Anytime you put food in your mouth, it will cause an insulin reaction. Yeah. So let's get that out of the way. Anytime you put food in your mouth, you're gonna have some type of an insulin reaction. The amount of insulin reaction is gonna be dependent on the type of food you eat. Right. For example, carbohydrates and sugar, you'll have a higher insulin reaction. And then protein, you will have an insulin reaction. And fat, you will have an insulin reaction, but it's much less than protein, which is much less than carbohydrates. You also have to look at when you have carbohydrates, um, what is the glycemic index? That is how much of an insulin reaction you're going to have. For example, and, and this has become an issue with a lot of products, maltodextrin will cause a higher insulin reaction than sugar. It's, uh, it's much higher on the glycemic index. And so if you're taking it in massive quantities, sometimes it's used as a sweetener because it doesn't have to be listed as a sugar, but other times it's listed, it's just like a binder. Mm -hmm. And even there, it can cause glucose spikes and insulin reactions. For example, we love Buffalo Wild Wings. Yes, Buffalo we do. Wild Wings uses maltodextrin in their dry rubs. Now, when we go there and we eat there, we get the dry rubs because I'd rather have the dry rubs with the maltodextrin than the sauces that have uh, canola oil. That's just but, my personal But we brace ourselves for a response because right. we know it's going to happen. But when we're at home, we get their wings and we put no seasoning on it and then we season them ourselves and then we're not worried about canola oil or anything like that. So you, it really comes down to like what you're eating. As far as Nola bar spiking your insulin, so yes, it, they will cause an insulin reaction. Not a high one, but they will. So the best, best you should never snack. Okay, so Dr. Saiva says snacking is always an emotional event. You're never snacking to eat. If you're hungry, eat. Don't snack. Eat a full meal until you're comfortably full. So when do I have an Ola bar? I have it as a meal. For example, I don't want to eat a whole lot, but I want a little bit of energy. I want a little bit of something, but I'm going to consider it a meal like on my way to a game or yeah, something like that. Yeah, I was going like to say that. when you're going to officiate. Or I have it as a dessert. Like sometimes I'll have it. That's my breakfast. It's an Ola bar. Right. right? But mostly it's like, hey, I want a little something with my dinner. I'll have a Nola bar. So I try to confine it into my eat, my food, my meal or my eating window. Yeah, the eating window helps. Okay. Uh, next one we have is from Sue Ann. Hey, Sue Ann. I think it's Suzanne, but for some reason. Do y'all take it. pre or probiotics and do y'all recommend any type of tortilla? So the only pre or probiotics that we take is something that would come in food. Like, so... Um, for example, if we happen to have some flaxseed or if we eat sauerkraut or yogurt, things like that. So right. we don't do a bunch of powders or no, any of that like kind of supplements stuff. We of really kind. don't do any supplements at all. The, other than something like the Dr. Berry's, uh, we call them Dr. Berry, but the, the, the daily minerals yeah. from Keto Chow, Rachel calls them the Dr. Berry drops or the baby berries. Yeah, because um, it has and a little electrolytes, we don't bottle. do anything else. The only other thing we do is occasionally iodine in our coffee, but we don't do vitamin B or D or We any also that put stuff. the daily mineral drops in the carbonated, oh, water, the carbonated water that we, we make at home or we cook with it. But yeah, we try to get all of our medicine from our food. Yep. As far as uh, tortillas, if you're like talking about life, like store-bought store tortillas, like low-carb tortillas, I don't recommend any of them, any of them. They're all, they all have wheat and stuff in them. If you're talking about some type of a tortilla, 
either egg life wraps. Um, there's also the what is that other oh, crepini? I think they, they're they're made oh. with egg. I'm not a big fan of them, but I know a lot of people are. Uh, they they break apart for me too easily. Or you can use the cheese ones, the folios, which we actually have a copycat recipe, which makes it much, super, much cheaper. Super easy to make, very fast. But we actually use the Egg Life's a lot. And then Indigo Nilly actually has a way on how to make the Egg Life wraps. Like we had started working on that recipe like a year ago and I gave up and then she started <laughs> using um, gelatin. Right. I've not tried it yet, but a lot of people say it's really good. I just don't have time to to mess with it that much. So we go and buy the Egg Life wraps at either Costco or where we go? Aldi, right? That's where we get them. Because energy efficient. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, next one is, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> number one fan. Hey, number one fan. Said, I am not eating any of the foods that you guys have listed in this video, except maybe once a day or every other day. I might eat a sandwich with a keto bun from Aldi. I don't go over a thousand calories each day and I'm closer to staying at 700 calories. My net carbs are below 20, but I usually keep them around 15 net carbs. I'm down 98 pounds, but my goal is to drop 40 more pounds. I drink lots of water daily. I've been in a salt for three weeks now and it's killing me. Oh, no. I would love it if you have some suggestions for me to get this weight rolling off of again. Okay. Um... A lot of things to, to, to say here. Yeah. Number one, three weeks is not a stall. Yeah. Okay. And so three weeks, let, let's start there. Three weeks is not a stall. Number two, please switch over to total carbs. Okay. Especially if you're going to eat things like keto, like, like keto buns from Aldi. Right. Okay. I don't care if you up your total carbs to 30. Yeah. But have a total carb cap. You want to do net carbs, which we would do a dessert day and say, we're going to have no more than 20 net carbs, but no more than 30 or 40 total carbs right and we're going to talk about that more in some of the other comments but having a total carb cap make sure you're not overdoing things like keto buns and nola bars and stuff like that uh most importantly personal opinion not a doctor nurse or a health professional but we've been doing this a long time and we've had these issues ourselves i think you're under eating i do too uh, a thousand calories is way too low for anybody, anybody. I don't care. You don't even need to tell me your height, your weight or any of that. So a thousand calories is way, way, way too low. And 700 and calories. You're, and you're saying you're closer to 700. Your body is in starvation mode at this point. So, so it's holding on to everything. For a, It works for a while. You said you work for a while, but then about, eventually your body is going to just go, I'm going to save everything because I don't know when I'm going to get more food. I'm going through all of my reserves. I'm going to slow things down. Your body strives for homeostasis, which means balance the amount of energy it's putting out to the amount of energy it's getting in. We don't like calories. We talk about energy. Energy is fat and carbohydrates combined because your body doesn't use protein for energy unless it has to. So it, if you're only eating that much, it's going to start going... I've got basic functions I need to do. I need to get up and walk. I need to pump my blood. I need to blink. I need to move my arm. I need to go to the bathroom. I need to work my bowels. And so I'm going to start shutting things off to so that I can function on the energy that is coming in. Right. Just like when you overeat, your body will try to get that energy spent by yeah, you'll be like, involuntary movements, giving you the ability, like making you feel. want to go work out, making you want to pace. I used to make fun of Rachel all the time because she's on the phone and she's pacing. Walking back and forth. That is your body going, hey, you got to get some of this energy out. You got to, you're getting too much energy. So your body wants that. So I think you're under eating. So that's again, my opinion. I would do some Google, go check out Keto Savage. And reverse I would dieting. look at a reverse diet. So a reverse diet would be increasing the energy side. First of all, make sure you're eating at least 100 grams of protein a day, which I have a feeling you're not based on these numbers. Um, but then increasing the amount of energy you eat, 25 to 50 calories worth, which would be three to five grams, you know, or three to eight grams of fat additional every week for about eight to 12 weeks. So work your, and probably for where you're at a lot longer or even going 50 to 100 calories more per week for about eight to 12 weeks. You wanna get that number all the way up to 1800 or 2000. If you do it slowly like that, 25 to 75 or 100 calories per week more each week, you won't gain weight. Your body will start ramping up metabolism and then you stay there for two or three weeks 
and then you can reverse back down, but only cutting like maybe two or 300 calories worth and you will lose weight, even though you'll be eating twice as much food. Pam has an interesting question. Are collagen power and MCT oil powder not considered as supplements? I would have to say I consider them ingredients mm -hmm. because we, and not like an, a, you know, uh, a, like a vitamin that I would have taken in the past, like a, you know, one a day right. or something because we use those things as like, you know, the sweetener for our coffee, the creamer for our coffee. We use them as ingredients for like, you know, a mug cake or or to add to our yogurt to flavor it. So yeah, I probably would you not can actually- technically say collagen powder would be a supplement. Dep again, like, like Rachel's saying, how yeah. you use it. Um, but we don't, when we t use collagen, we are not using it for our nutrition. We're using right. it in addition to, we try to get all of our nutrition from our food, all of our vitamins. And that's when you think to me, when you tell me supplements, that's what I'm looking at, vitamins and nutrients and things like that. Um, but MCT oil, no, I, it's just a powdered version of MCTs. And I'm using MCT to add fat. So it's no different than butter or coconut, coconut oil, oil or something like that. Uh, next one is from Debbie. Hey Debbie, I make sure every hour that I get up, get a glass of water and go to the restroom. Even if that's all I do, I'm moving and circulating. I work from home so it's easy to just sit there all day if you're not intentional. I also have an alarm for 30 minutes before my lunchtime and that's when I get on the treadmill for 30 minutes. I find when it's time to eat, I'm not as hungry as I would be if I didn't do the treadmill first. Debbie, what great advice. Yes, I have gotten to, to Joe's chagrin, a whole bunch of alarms set on my phone ever since we've been reading Atomic Habits. I'm trying to Every hour. be more intentional. But here's the thing, sometimes, you know, before this, I would get to the end of my day and think to myself, I didn't text a friend today to let them know what they mean to me. I didn't spend enough time listening to encouraging songs. I didn't take like a break and walk around the block and just get my steps in. So if in order for me to be more intentional, I need the aid of a device, I'm willing to use that in order to get it in, whether it's movement or intentionality. You know, I don't think that it's, it, it doesn't negate the fact that I truly treasure a friend that I used uh, an alarm to remind me right. to contact them. So, yeah. you know, cause you want to, but sometimes I just need an outside help to remember cause the intention's there, but the day causes it to get away from you. Yeah. I just saw this comment, Barb said I'm 175 pounds. What should my fat to protein ratio be? Um, honestly, we're always gonna tell you one-to-one, -one, but if you're looking for like personalized macros, I don't have enough information there and we probably don't have enough time in this live stream to be able to discuss that. You can email us. I do wanna say, if you email us, priority for us always is gonna go to our channel members and our patrons. Um, they actually, Our patrons and channel members actually have a special email um, because we do get a lot of emails and not just from you guys, just I get like, a thousand junk yeah. emails a day. Joanne Fabrics. I oh, I know, right? And then, I mean, we probably get like a hundred offers a day from companies who don't even know who we are. No. They're like, I saw your channel. You don't even know my name. Right, right. right? Or hey, channel. Is, would you guys be interested in trying, like I literally got one for like some kind of pasta, but it was not keto. It was like a protein pasta meal, and I'm like, you don't even know what our channel yeah. is. So, but so I we I sometimes I delete things by accident. So our patrons and our channel and our channel members always get priority email. So if you send us an email, it, I'm going to be honest, it's, it could take us two or three weeks to see right. and answer it. You know, but you can email us, and we also do offer some private macro things and stuff like that. But you can send us a message if you're a patron or a channel member though. Send us links that way. That is the best way for us to see it if you're a channel member. Um, oh, so Keto Simple said, a B-dubs, I get the sauce on the side. I really like the hot ones. I don't use a whole uh, side cup of the sauce. We don't go often 
more, more like, like a, a date, date night. night after a movie. I love that. I think that that's really good. Yeah, anytime you have like the sauce on the side, you definitely eat a lot less of it. Well, you end up with less too because right. they're not tossing it. Yeah, so right, you and they're just pouring it they over. They give you a lot less. Uh, Laura said, Hey, Laura. Uh, you talked a lot about electrolytes and salt today. I had my own experience this weekend with my getting my very low on salt in particular. I had what I could only guess is food poisoning, oh, no. which elicited a very violent reaction. My I'm goodness. assuming mean coming out. Yeah. Uh, and I lost so much water in a short amount of time that I'm very certain I lost a great deal of sodium as well. I nearly passed out, but thought fast enough to throw a handful of salt in my mouth. And within a couple of minutes, I was less lightheaded. It's the difference. Yes. It's all the difference in the world. So if you do get sick and and I'm talking about either way now a lot of times our body is getting rid of extra sodium um, when we are have diarrhea but especially if you are vomiting if you get food poisoning uh, if you have the C word, yes, it is very important to get your electrolytes in, even if you're not keto. I remember years ago, I went fishing with my dad. We, we actually lived in New York at the time. We came down here, we were fishing out of Hallover. We went out on, uh, on a charter boat. It was us, uh, the captain, the first mate, and two other people. And the, the other two people and the first mate got so violently ill because it was rough out. The captain came to us and said, listen, I never turn in because somebody is seasick. Right. That, you, you guys paid to be here, you got seasick, that's your tough luck. And he was like, but they are so violently ill. We can't risk it. We can't risk it. They're gonna get dehydrated and I'm gonna have to call the Coast Guard. So he brought us back in and then took us back out another day. Uh, but years ago also, right when we started keto, I think I was doing keto and you weren't. I, were, I was not. Rachel got food poisoning and vomited so much she could not keep electrolytes in and we had to take her to the hospital and even they they tried to give her IV but her veins had collapsed. Yeah, they were like it's all, it's too late. Yeah. And they, and their solution Go home and drink Gatorade. So I did what they said, and I just continued drinking just gallons of it. Because like we've said in the past, it, you have to drink so many servings. To you were even, drinking a case a day. I was just to try to get back. And that was like this one of the scariest moments of my life because the hospital was like, we can't do anything for you. Like yeah. your veins have collapsed. They gave you a suppository to stop you from getting sick. For a minute and then like go home. And then home, drink Gatorade. And they that were like their electrolytes, solution. yeah. Uh, next one's from Gail. Hey Gail, apparently I made a mistake letting a coworker know I'm down three sizes because of keto. Now she says to me, oh, those cupcakes are delicious. You can't have that though. And she's loud. I said, it's not that I can't have it. This is a lifestyle eating. Wow, so disappointing. I'm not doing this just for weight loss. Gosh, that was so embarrassing. Gail, I am so sorry that you experienced that. We would love it if the people around us would just be encouraging. I know that it was so disappointing for my mom to even go to the doctor and, and in one moment, the doctor be like, oh, I'm so excited. Like you've done what I've said, you've lost weight, you're getting more movement in. And then when she shares it was keto, all of a sudden the doctor was like super disappointed. That That's very frustrating. I am so sorry that instead of cheering you on in this, the coworker, it is saying these very undermining things. I hope that you have opportunities within the keto community to share your story so that we can celebrate you. And I would probably just go to that coworker and be like, do me a favor, forget what I told you because I would rather not talk about food at all than, than talk about food anymore at work right now, <laughs> you know? I, I wish people would understand that food addiction and carbohydrate addiction is just as bad as being an alcoholic. Yes. And just as bad as being a drug addict. And not to diminish or take away from recovering alcoholics and recovering drug addicts. But when you're a food addict or a carbohydrate addict, it's even harder because yeah. you have to have a little bit of your drug every single I have to day, eat. right? You have to eat. So when you have a food addiction, it's it's harder to get off of a food addiction than it is to not be an alcoholic anymore. Yeah. Because you can choose to not look at alcohol or not go to a bar or not be around that, but you can't choose to not eat. It's just not possible. And 
I don't understand why people are like, hey, you can have it. Nurse City was talking about it in Orlando. Nobody would ever walk up to a recovering heroin addict and say, hey, it's okay. You've been clean for a year. Have a little now. Well, and I don't think that... At least nobody who is sane. Right. Well, and I don't think that anybody that, like, let's say you're at a holiday party or you're at a restaurant and somebody, like, at your table enjoys uh, an alcoholic beverage, I don't think that they would be like, oh, okay, well, we're going to, you know, toast something but like oh joe as a uh, you know if you were a recovering alcoholic oh but you can't have that isn't that so sad that like we can all have a margarita and joe who's a recovering alcoholic cannot like you would not draw attention to that because yeah. you wouldn't embarrass somebody and here's the thing i understand it's a co-worker so it's kind of hard i would just wouldn't share with them and if it's a friend this is going to sound harsh if if you have a friend not just you gail but anybody if you have a friend like undermining who is, you who is talking to you that way find a new friend yeah okay it just that's not a friend you don't want that person as a friend in your life come over to our facebook family group okay there's lots of people that want to be your friend that want to support you there already said keto Welcome. thank you very much for becoming a channel member uh before we go to a fade of black sheila said i wanted to let you know what a blessing you guys are i'm down 45 pounds halfway Yay. there the only one in my family doing this and i love being a part of your community sheila there. we love being a part of your community thanks for letting us be a part of your day let's go ahead and take a fade to black and come back with facebook comments did you gas up the truck no we that's gonna have to stop i'm going to run and get gas okay as soon as this live stream is over all right uh we can't check in till three it takes an hour and a half to get there so the plan is be out of here by one that is the plan. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, Doubtful, we but we're gonna can. try. Uh, first one is from Sandra. Hey, Sandra. She said, non-scale victory, planting my veggies up and down on my knees, easily and pain-free. First time in 20 years. That is fan-stinking-tastic because this this type of thing where you, like, yeah, you, you get to participate in the hobby that you love, and then the rest of your week is not shot. Do you remember when we would go to the water park or we had a, a big day of, of doing lawns or we would have a, a big day with the kids out at the field for baseball, but then the rest of our week was shot because you had to recover yep. from any type of movement. So isn't this nice that you got up and down to do your gardening, but you can enjoy the rest of your week. I think that that is so powerful. Are you seeing another comment? Um, Look, super focused. I, yeah, I was reading it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up here because maybe somebody out there has. Hey Betsy. Betsy wants to know by any chance has anyone had to get off of opioids and maybe could support me through this? This is not fun. Um, yeah, I I think that there's a lot of organizations too out there. Like yeah. celebrate recovery. If comes celebrate to my recovery mind. is great. I will tell you if you're just talking about I did not have an addiction, but for close to 30 years, I was having to take opioids for my ankle and I avoided them as much as possible because I did not like that feeling on there. And it definitely, because I would take them like three or four times a week, especially in the middle of football and lacrosse season. And it was a little difficult to not use them. Uh, but I did notice that with the eating lifestyle, as the pain went away, I just stopped taking him and wasn't even paying attention to it. And that's yeah. when I came to Rachel and said, wow, it's Something's been like happening. six months and I haven't had to take them. But right. I, I'm I'm putting this up there because I'm sure there is somebody in our group that can reach out to you that has been through. This is what we're talking about, share our story. We are a family. Yeah. And I I think there might, there might be somebody else out there who you can connect with. But other than that, I would look into places like Celebrate Recovery. We stuff. love that organization. Yeah. Um, okay. So the first one, next one we have is from Karen. Hey Karen, does tea have carbs? My brother wants to do a two day fast and drink tea during it. Uh, technically, yes, tea is like coffee. It does have carbs. Technically, oh, here we go. We're gonna stir one up. Uh-oh. Technically meat has carbs. Oop. Te I'm serious. Like there it technically is. there is carbs in beef. It's a tiny amount. There's carbs in butter. It's a tiny amount, um, but there is carbs there. Think about it because they would be, Plant animals eat vegetables, and where do they store stuff? In their muscle, which means we're eating that. Right. Do you worry about those carbs? No, we don't worry about the carbs in eggs or liver or things like that. Are there carbs in tea? Yes. If you're drinking like Rachel and two pots of tea, like she was with coffee, coffee. day, you might want to worry about it. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah. If you're doing it during a fast, 
as Rachel does with coffee. If drinking black tea, now I would not drink sweetened tea, but if drinking black tea- It's gonna get you through. Or green tea or any unsweetened tea will get you through a fast, have your tea. Go for it. That, that's, that's my opinion. Monica, thank you for the, I think it's pound or euros. Yeah. Uh, super chat. And she said, please, any recipes for the creamy without a protein powder? Find them quite gritty and keto chow is not available in Europe. Thank you for all you do. Um, any keto friendly ice cream? Maybe we, as things wind down in two weeks, we have two weeks until we're no longer working at the church. Right. Um, Maybe we can start doing some of them out there. We don't really have any of our own keto-friendly ice cream recipes because there's so many out there, but I'd happy be happy to make some of the ones that we use and feature them on a vlog and give those people credit. Like Carrie Brown yes. has an amazing ice cream. Carrie you want Brown. ice cream for keto? Carrie Brown. That's Carrie the with person. A C. Go and search. You can get her stuff on Amazon. Uh, get her ice cream book. Any keto-friendly ice cream recipe can be made in the creamy. You just make it up, pour it into the bowl, freeze it, and then do it just like any other creamy. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Next one is from Megan. Hey, Megan. Looking for suggestions for mayo. I've tried a couple of prepared avocado mayos and made my own avocado mayo. I can't identify what exactly it is I don't care for. It's almost, it almost has a Miracle Whip kind of flavor. I made the butter mayo, and while I thought it tasted good, it's not what I'm looking for either. I'm a Hellman's fan, but don't want to consume the cruddy oil. Is there a recipe or prepared mayo anyone can suggest that tastes closer to Hellman's without the bad oil? Thanks. I... Before you answer this, because like there's other mayos out there like chosen mayo and that kind of stuff, I'm gonna say up front, Hellman's has a very distinct flavor and I think that it is the bad ingredients that makes it good. Mm -hmm. Does that make you know a sense? It's I haven't one that per, I haven't found one that perfectly lines up with Hellman's because Hellman's had like the perfect blend of wonkiness, right? And it was just it tasted a little bit different. And it's more, I think, going to be a case of you got to get used to the new stuff yes. and kind of let go of the old if you're trying to get rid of the bad oils. Yeah. So uh, my, excuse me, my personal experience. I don't like Miracle Whip Chosen either. Foods, at least they used to have a little bit of sweetener in there. I think they actually got rid of it because Rachel never liked the Chosen Foods one. And when we buy mayo, yeah. that is what we buy because it's available in Costco. Right. Um, and it's cheaper when you buy that big thing for half the price of what you pay in Walmart or the even Costco Whole Foods. Costco barrel. Right. Um, Primal Kitchen probably has the one that is closest to Hellman's, but Hellman's still has that taste. It's it a distinct does. taste. I mean... Um, I'd say make your own. We have, I left the link for our video down below and there is a recipe on our website. It is super easy if you have an immersion blender. It's egg, well, oil. She said she made the butter mayo. She made the butter. I'm talking about the regular avocado oil Well, mayo. and she said she made that too. And it didn't, you know, it just okay. tastes different. So again, I, I don't- It comes down to what you add to it. Um, yeah. But I think that as with anything else on keto or any eating lifestyle when you change, don't look for a replacement that's going to match. I don't care, listen, I like stuff like Chalk Zero and some of the other keto-friendly chocolates out there. They ain't Hershey's. Right. Right? And if you go into it and go, this is just like Hershey's. I want one that's just like Hershey's. It doesn't it's exist. It's gonna be off. I love cauliflower. I love um, Matt and Mega's sweet potato casserole. It's a faux sweet potato casserole from using- From Keto Connect. From Keto Connect, using cauliflower and canned pumpkin. It ain't sweet potato casserole. <laughs> cauliflower can be cool, but it's not a potato and nothing is going to make it a potato. Right. So you have to go into it and be like, this is, cauliflower rice it's not a rice substitute right. it's not right it's never going to be rice right and so you have be to rice. look at the same thing like don't look for a hellman substitute look for a healthy mayo that you can get used to right and i hope i hope that doesn't come out as hard but i've been disappointed but you're going to be too. disappointed if you're always looking for something to replace the awesome taste you got 
insert food here, okay? Lasagna, spaghetti, whatever it is. I kept, it doesn't exist. Well, the only reason why this really speaks to me is because I have been such a Hellman's fan and I would keep for a long time bringing it into the house just for me. Like Joe was eating like good mayonnaise and I'm like, but I just want that Hellman's taste. And Joe was like, you know, you're undermining your health with those oils, right? Like, I love you, and I just don't want you to be having joint pain using those oils. And I finally just had to let it go. But it was hard. Like, right. that was a really hard thing for me. Yeah. Now, again, as Dr. Cyrus says, if you're having a tablespoon of Hellman's mayonnaise once a month, and I you've been doing keto month. for a while, and everything else in your diet is perfect or, or close to perfect... I would not worry about it. If you're having it with every meal, yeah, you need to find an alternative. I would eat so much mayonnaise. Here is the motion of me adding mayonnaise to my stuff. Like that, right? Like the big heaping spoon of whatever I was eating. Uh, next one's from Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. Okay, I sort of messed up for lunch today. I ate about a pint of strawberries I had in my refrigerator and I put some full fat Greek yogurt on top. And if that wasn't bad enough, I put a little bit of local honey on top. I was upset at first with myself, but then I thought about it. If I'm going to mess up, I reckon I could have done a whole lot worse. Yay, Yay me. me. Well, I like that that you've taken ownership of what you're doing and you're not kicking yourself. Yeah. I mean, I was talking to a friend yesterday and she was kind of, as I was walking toward her, she was leading with like, I messed up. I totally messed up this week. And, and, and. I thought, well, I just want to give you a hug and see you. So I don't need you to identify like unclean. I've right. done bad. And so I was like, well, did you have a good week other than that? Did you enjoy your week? And she was like, yeah, you know, it was, I had a good week. I'm feeling good. And so I was like, okay, well, how about we just don't beat ourselves up? Because it doesn't fix anything. Listen, I agree with you. If you if you could have done a whole lot worse, yeah. right? We had Blaze Pizza last night. And we literally got pizza and then we scrape all the toppings off because listen, that crust is so thin, it's not like you're missing anything right. anyway. Right? I guarantee you we both had 25 carbs. Right. Guaranteed. Because I got garlic and we had lots of cheese. And here's the thing, I'm not gonna worry about it. Am I a little inflamed from a lot of cheese yesterday? Yeah. Rachel got on the scale. She's like, I'm up today. I'm like, you ate an entire pizza last right. night. Right. And like our pizza probably weighs like four pounds when I we're done adding <laughs> stuff on to Blaze. That's why we go to Blaze Pizza. It is We had two meaty, free coupons and we're like, I'm getting my jumbo. money's worth, right? Yep. So I think, yeah, you could have done a lot worse, but I love your attitude. Jump right back on the horse. If you slip up, Please, please, please do not respond to your slip up by going on a fast to reduce the inflammation. Do not it's not going to work. First of all, going on a fast is not going to make the inflammation go away any faster. Well, okay? it's just going to go away. The best thing you can do, you slip up, your very next meal, you go back to your normal eating lifestyle. And this way you're not encouraging yourself to binge and purge. What I would like you to do, I think is a good important thing, is have a response like you would for your child. If you, if your child had a bad day, like they want, they did something that was unplanned, right? Like they didn't do their homework or something like that. Would your response to them coming short of expectations be, you don't get to eat for two days? Would that be what you would do to your child? I don't think so. So let's not do to, to yourself what you would never do to a friend, to a child. If you wouldn't do it to your kid, don't do it to yourself, right? right? What would you do to your child? You'd be like, okay, I know that the day did not go as planned. We're gonna get back in the game. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Let's just keep going. I'm right. not gonna punish you and be like, okay, you don't get to eat for two days in response to eating something that you shouldn't have, yeah. right? Rhonda, thank you very much Rhonda. for the $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Rachel and Joe, for all of your love and support. I'll be listening in, but may not comment. I love you, my 2KK Love family. you, Rhonda. So glad I got to see you recently. I miss you. I miss you already. Uh, next one's from Robin. Hey, Robin. She said, I've been struggling. For the most part, my recent struggle has been with eating too many keto-friendly protein bars. A couple of times I would have fries at lunch if I forgot to ask them to be held, but mostly it's the bars. After watching one of my uh, one of the recent two crazy kiddos videos, I realized this means most likely that I have a problem with the bars and maybe the pork and good pork rinds, as I can eat three to four bags in a day. So now I'm focusing on not eating those. 
All this to say, I appreciate appreciate the message in Two Crazy Keto's videos. That one really resonated. Thank you. Robin, I love this perspective. I think that it is very important for you to know what is keto for Robin? What is keto for Rachel? It could be very different. Just because something is a keto friendly food does not mean that it is keto for Rachel. I see a lot of people ha have plates of food that are beautiful and perfectly keto that I can't have because I have a problem with that particular ingredient. Right. And it doesn't mean it's gonna knock you out of ketosis. It means you I'm may gonna just overindulge. Eat too much. Sometimes if you have, if you're allergic to nightshades, the nightshades are not keto for you. Yeah, it's just the bottom line. Um, here's my solution for you. Like I think, first of all, the best thing you can do is what you're doing. Let me put them on hold for a while. Go hide them from myself. Let me go 30 days without them. Rachel has done that with coffee. I have done that with cheese. I've done it with bars. Just to any food, and I don't care what, and this was gonna rub some feathers, but that's what I do. I rub the feathers, Rachel comes in do and I? licks the I don't, wounds. I don't think right? I do. So here's, here's what I'm gonna say. Any food other than basic things like meat, but even down to like, if you wanna get specific, if you can't live without a ribeye, if that is the only form of beef you can eat, <laughs> then you have a problem, <laughs> Right. okay? If you cannot, go one, two, three, four weeks without coffee. If you absolutely cannot function without coffee, you have a problem. I have and, and this is not, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying that it's something you might want to focus on. If you look at our hunter gatherer ancestors, they didn't get a choice, right? They had to go days, weeks sometimes without, without a certain ingredient, eating certain things or sometimes without eating. That's why our body has this thing called ketosis. But it wasn't like, oh, I really don't want to eat elk today. It was like, there's the elk. That's what I'm going to eat. We are very thankful for right? food. Well, wait a second. I can't function without lamb. Well, do you want to wait another month before you eat? Right. No, it's kind of up to you. So. I think it's good if you if you identify a food that you absolutely are overdoing, put it on hold for a little while. Not say never have it again, but yeah. put it put it in the back burner. Allow your body to get used to not having it, and then come back to it. But also, this is why we believe in having a total carb cap. You don't have to keep your carbs at fifteen or twenty. Make it thirty. I don't care. Just make you make it. If you're a new to keto, you can probably put it all the way to 50 total carbs. That's where we, when we first started, 20 difference. net, 50 total. But what is that going to do? It's gonna make it you can't overeat your bars. Like, so, I mean, what is it? Here's one we're gonna do a review on. I grabbed these at Aldi, Aldi right? And I grabbed them because they're a dollar a bar. There's 15 total carbs in one of these. We're gonna open this up. I'm not gonna open one up. So this is 15 total carbs. Well, if I'm limiting myself to 30 total carbs in a day, one. I can't, I can have one, right? I, I can have one and then by the time I have my eggs, my coffee, my cheese, my maybe my veggies, uh, a keto chow or something like that, I'm at 30. If I put myself, you know, at 20 total carbs, I can have one. That'll allow me five more for the day. So right. it, it, I think that having a total carb cap but helps you. Let me see this for a second. To so not overdo them. Because they're saying that there is um, three net carbs. So if I only do net carbs and I have and you're at 20, 20, I could have, you could have six like, bars. You, yeah. And the addict to me, it's kind of like that cereal, like the, the adult in me says that's, not appropriate, but the kid in me says, let's go. Right. Right. So that having the total carb cap really helps. Next one's from Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Hi, everyone. I was needing to get my autistic son switched over to more keto and low carb way of eating. His behavior lately has been severe and I'm seeing a direct correlation between what he eats and his behavior. Does anyone have any food ideas for a picky eater? Also, once he starts back to school, I can't send anything with nuts in his lunches or snacks as they have a nut free policy. I also have a few kids uh, keto cookbooks to get some uh, ideas from. Any help is greatly appreciated. Thanks. Okay, Amanda. Um, okay, first of all, again, not doctors, nurses, or health professionals, but I truly believe that 
my personal opinion. It really helps. I, my nutrition. personal opinion is most of the kids that are being labeled as ADHD or, or those kind of it things. It can really it help. Is from nutrition. That's that's my personal belief. We had that with our own child. Right. Right. We had, I remember them telling us, Caleb needs to be on medication. No, it was the sugar. It was that we were feeding him an entire box of Fruit Loops every single day. Because as soon as we cut that out, and this was long before keto. We saw changes. We saw changes. So I'm going to tell you the person to go follow, go message and check out is Abby. From House of Keto. From House of Keto. Yes. Because this is something she's gone through. I would tell you, go watch the movie Magic Pill. Yeah. Okay. Um, As far as food, like just... I know what Abby did, and we even interviewed her. If I can remember, I will link that after we're done with this. But she talked about, she just, she slowly just took all of those foods out. She didn't make an announcement to her children, we're not having this anymore. Right. She just didn't buy it anymore. Yeah. And she did have periods where, like, her child just wouldn't eat. He would just throw it. But then he's, eventually he ate it, and now her her youngest one is, like, carnivore. And then for her date, but her kids, what did they hit the school? Lobster, salmon. Yeah. Right? Uh, they have steak. beautiful lunches. I mean, they have amazing lunches. But she shares that all the time is like what is in her child's on her, lunchbox. On her TikTok, right? Like yeah. Like what she puts in her child's lunchbox. So box. definitely check her out because she has like, fan- I think everybody should because she gives you very creative ideas to pack for any child's lunch and your own lunch. Wouldn't yeah. it be nice? Remind if you, me to link that video. If you done. had salmon for lunch, even if you're going to work and you have your lunch box, I right. love that. Okay, uh, one more from uh, Brianna. Hey, Brianna. She said, Joe, this made me think of you. The serving size of shredded cheese should be until you feel better. <laughs> and the nutritional information doesn't matter because it's medicinal. Oh, there you go. I think that that is absolutely accurate. Gosh, you know him, Brianna. That is like so stinking true. It reminds me of Chris Bear when he goes, we should be able to write off our smoker. It's a medical device. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's going to fly with the IRS. But, but it's worth a shot. Let's do chat for a few minutes before we get off. Uh, Dennis said, Hey, Dennis. Congratulations to both Joe and Rachel for your stance on carbohydrates. Thank Sugar you. elicits an identical dopamine response to that of cocaine. Addictive? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think sugar is the most addictive substance on earth. I, we, I, someone was talking to me about like how long did it take me to get off sugar? Like, how did I, um, stop eating just i'm talking about like candy sugar i'm not even talking about carbohydrates but when i decided i was eating so much sugar like straight up candy chocolate that kind of stuff that i had to stay in a bathtub for for a week to stop myself from going to the fridge or getting my keys and going out the door to the store I had a violent reaction. I was throwing up. I had diarrhea. I had sweat. I had shakes. Like it felt very reminiscent of what people describe they're going through like a detox thing. It is yeah. super, it was very painful. Sugar is ridiculously addictive and they get us addicted to it like literally as soon as we're born. I mean, we had friends who worked in the nursery and said that they would literally give sugar water to the babies to get them to stop crying while the, while the nurses had them for, and not the moms. And the lady who took the photographs would put sugar water in their mouth. Yeah. Look at um, baby formulas loaded with Look sugar. The first ingredient. This is going to sound horrible. I'm glad that there is a baby formula shortage I'm right now. I'm hoping that there will be Because I think that people are starting to go like, okay, maybe we don't need this stuff because they're having to find alternatives, which I forgot to link it down below. Dr. Sivis. Dr. Barry last night oh, did okay, an yeah. amazing, or yesterday afternoon, did an amazing interview discussing baby formula. If you know anybody who is right now looking for baby formula, baby formula, please go over to his video. I will put it in the description down below when we're done with this. Send them that video. Yeah. Okay. Send them that video. Dr. Sivas has talked about you can't find baby formula. Well, first of all, you shouldn't be using it. Goat milk. That's that's the best option. That nothing is going to be better than giving them another mammal's milk. Ma- other mammal's milk is better than baby formula. Baby formula is a bunch of, like, why do we think that we can make something better than God did? And sometimes it's, you know, it's hard when when you have to find an alternative because 
you know, you're not prepared. And it's like, oh my, my goodness, it's suddenly here. But, but that's when we start doing our research. And mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, something amazing comes out of that. And I'm excited for, for parents who are like, okay, you know, I need to start researching things. I need, even in a time where I'm like, gosh, I feel pressed to, to go and see, well, what is there an alternative out there? That's when the door is open to a change in thinking. Yeah. Uh, Diane said, my doctor recommended I take a calcium scoring test since I am keto. Guess what? My score was zero. Wow. She was totally reassured. How wonderful. Congratulations on Nancy that. Nancy said, I don't like avocado mayo, but it's more palatable with a drop of better than stevia. That's good yeah, to know. Yeah, so again, why Hellman's has sugar in it? Right. Because there's sugar in everything. Well, I mean, when you start turning over ingredients, like when you first go through your, your pantry and you're like, okay, well... I, I don't have, you know, once you get rid of the maple syrup and the cereal and stuff, you're like, okay, well, I've done like cleansing my pantry of sugar, but then you head to the sauces and you're like, how is there so much sugar in like a salad dressing or, or the ketchup I'm using? It's not barbecue sauce. Why is there so much sugar in this? You know, it's just amazing how much sugar is okay, in Okay, so Jules put this up and, and sorry, Jules, but uh, I'm going to disagree. Uh, he said, no substitute for helmets, just use it. If you've cut so much out of the crap oils out of the rest of your diet, it will be okay. Again, if you are having it once a one, once in a blue moon, don't worry about not it. Not how Rachel uses If you're uses eating mayo. egg salad every day made with helmets, no, it is not good for you. Nobody, nobody, keto, no diet, standard American diet, I don't care if you're on a sugar diet, nobody should be eating canola oil, corn oil, vegetable oil. People... People ask, like, how can I help prevent heart disease? Lower your triglycerides, raise your HDL, and get rid of all of the inflammatory foods. It's not fat. Fat does not cause you to have a heart attack. What causes you to have a heart attack is inflammation. Eating things like canola oil and stuff like that that are bad for you. So, are you going to say you're not a doctor or a nurse Well, we, or we've, a said that it, we've said it enough. Uh-oh. And there we're we, back. And we're back. But yeah, I'm trying to get that off. But no, if, if like Dr. Simon is talking about, if you're having a tablespoon and you're having a really good, you're eating a good keto lifestyle, then it's not going to really affect, it may affect you for a moment. But if you're like having it every day, you need to find a substitute. I, I used way more than a normal human amount. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, who is this one? Uh, plan, plan with, with Jen. Jen. I make a homemade strawberry jam using chia seeds and erythritol powder for my teen son to use and my parents. I don't eat anything sweet and they love it. It is much healthier. How nice. That is awesome. Uh, Pam said, I remember Rachel saying, uh, you are asking too much of your spaghetti squash <laughs> to be like noodles. Same thing, you are asking too much of your cauliflower to be a sweet potato. I, you know, that I, there's just a lot of stuff that I, I'm like, you know what, I don't need it that badly. We we tried, you know, uh, Anthony really likes, we had the, you had the Keto Box review that went up yesterday, and um, he really likes the cauliflower rice, or not the cauliflower rice, what's that rice? It's the hearts of hearts palm. Hearts of palm. And he just loves it. He loves it. He loves the taste of that. I'm like, okay. It, it tastes good, but it's not rice. But I'm like, I, I am not going to be using this in my sushi roll. Right. Does that make sense? Like, it just doesn't do it for me. But I'm glad that that he likes it. But there's just some stuff that just doesn't but replace he, for Again, me. he is not looking. He eats rice. He, he eats is not looking at it as a rice substitute. He's looking at, this is cool. Yeah. You know? Uh, Debbie said, I love how Joe and Rachel encourage each other and others in a straight up call, like call it like it is, but in a loving way. The world needs to learn those skills. Maybe. I am not very good at that. I will admit I will be really harsh, but then I do have this person who comes along and goes, let me explain to you how he really, like he, she calls Lord. me like I have a resting mean face. You do right? a little bit. And so she was like, he's gruff on the outside, but he's really tender hearted on the inside, which is probably true. But I just get frustrated. People will ask, I want your help. Okay, let me let me help you. Go watch our videos. Well, I don't want to do that. Then I don't want to help anymore, right? <laughs> if you can't go watch the video and then we can go from there, you know, where Rachel will spend five hours with you. <laughs> Debbie said, thank you for, Debbie, thank you for becoming a channel member. Um... <laughs> Joe is blunt. If, if that, that is pretty... Accurate. Janet said, well, I got a problem. I'm having my coffee. I have to do without lots of things. And that's not one of them. No disrespect. I all. drink coffee for Joe's safety. Yeah. Uh, 
And again, the whole point, we're trying to help make you better. You don't have to take all of our advice. No. You know, we're just, listen, some, we, we need to learn to take some of our own advice. Like there's lots of things I'm speaking to myself. When I say, Joe, you can live without cheese, I'm speaking to myself, right? right? And it's something I have a hard time with. Um, Play with Jen said, I make a meal casserole, uh, make us a meal casserole that is keto friendly on weekends, Saturday or Sunday, but we eat eggs, meat during the week. I made a keto shepherd's casserole. This one includes nice. one veggie. Plan well, I, I love it. Your planner, right? Plan with with Jen, I think was the, the name. Cause yeah, planning helps. If you can do some meal planning for the week, you're definitely gonna have some good success. Oh, Becky put up the, the video with Abby. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, we, let's see, is there anything else here real quick? Nancy said, I'm a carboholic. Put two loaves of bread, especially rye, in front of me, and they're gone before the second is over. The result, over 205 pounds at five foot, one and a half inches. I'm now down to 133, but I'm stuck. That is incredible that you have done that, Nancy. That's, I mean, that is amazing. Can we just stop and celebrate that for a minute? Because that is incredible. Way to go. Yeah. Uh, Brianna said, I've made a thousand island uh, dressing and put it in corned Ooh, beef. It was fire. fire. I love it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Fat th uh, full throttle said industrial seed oils are poison, period. End of discussion. You got this. <laughs> It's like Dr. Barry. Dr. Barry says, go into all of your friends and family's houses and go in their pantry and throw them out. I just, <laughs> don't do that. That's hard. I think it's a great thing. I know, I know you would do Zana it. Zana said, I made, that's why Dr. and Barry and I get along so well. <laughs> uh, Zana said, I'm making a homemade mail today that's supposed to taste as good as helmet. All right. Like, t tell us if it happens. Tell us if you find Becky that Becky said, Joe has resting Joe face. He's resting Joe face. Keto Simple said, I love when people, uh, as what I did to get where I am, I'll take uh, every time to let them know and they are like, uh, I'm not doing that. Yeah, well, yeah, where someone is like, ask you, tell me everything that, you're do that you've done to get healthy and then you spend that time and energy and they're like, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> right. Or that doesn't work. That That's the best one, right? right. How did you lose all the weight? I eat bacon and eggs and steak. How much bacon you eat? Like a pound a day. That doesn't work to and lose weight. And you're like, weight. but it did though. I'm, I right? lost, I, it's gone. Right? <laughs> Keto Simple said, oh, I, I, I guess I just reposted the second time. Uh, Faith said, Joe doesn't sugarcoat anything. I know. I love it. I almost wish he would a little. <laughs> if you're gonna have some sugar in your life, sugarcoat your words, but. Sadly, no. <laughs> okay, we are going to get off. We appreciate everybody for joining us. Now, remember, there is no book study this week. Next uh, Wednesday. Rachel's going to do it next Wednesday. Uh, just because I want her to be able to enjoy herself. We're going camping for two days. We'll be coming home Wednesday, and I don't want her to have to spend those two days working on her book study. This way, she's got a week to go with it. Um, we do have a couple of the videos coming out, Yeah. but in the meantime, don't forget Thursday, we will have our regular live stream, which is at 8.30 PM Eastern time. And don't forget about the perfect keto Memorial day sale. It ends tonight. Have a great night guys. We love Bye. you.